You see, we, we don't want to get drunk or, or go out um, what, what is properly known as womanizing until two o'clock in the morning. What we want is the freedom to do so should we wish. We don't want a, lo a lot of rules and regulations. To me, the pub's closing at um, 11 o'clock and more expensive clubs keeping open later is the most uh, condescending piece of class consciousness I've ever heard. Is to keep the workers out of the pub so that they're not drunk and up late for work in the morning. This was the original idea of it for the munitions factories in the First World War. Well, to me, um, I, I, I'm not a Puritan by any means or a moralist, but to me, uh, the idea, for instance, of short skirts and things like that, this seems to be, we seem to be selling our morals in return for a mess of uh, cultural pottage in a way. Uh, short skirts, for instance, are a sexual thing in order to show as much of a girl's legs as possible. Um, topless dresses in America in order to show as much of the other half as possible. To, to me, I, we seem to have lost <coughs> a certain amount of moral fiber, I suppose you call it. But that's only in comparison with other English people. I, I know, uh, for instance, an a very English attitude is one, um, I I if an Italian touches a girl up in a street in Rome, it's because they're all very sexy, hot-blooded, passionate Latin peoples. If an Englishman does it, he's a dirty rogue and should be fined five pounds immediately and taken into court. Uh, and the English have two sets of standards, which they set for themselves and others, you know. If, if, if a Frenchman comes up and asks a girl if she wants to get laid, uh, that's, that's romantic. If an Englishman does it, it, it she says, what do you think, How I have a prostitute. How do you do? Uh, well, I certainly never ask. Um, I take a lesson from Vance Packard and use hidden persuaders. <laughs> which, which, of course, is very modern. Are you using that? Yeah, pop art. Yeah, pop art or uh, anything. I, pop art seduction. Um, um, I would say to really practice pop art sedu seduction, you have to be a movie star <laughs> because, or something of that kind, or a rock and roll star, or at least you have to be in the first 200 people on the order of Marston March. 